Yo, 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 what up, everybody? It's your boy, Julie Jules, and we're back with another review video. It's been like a year and a half since I've done one of these videos, but I wanted to go ahead and give you all another one. Y'all know I like doing these mic review videos, um, just giving you all more options to choose from when you're out there looking for uh, microphones for gaming, streaming, or podcasting, you know? So today we're going to be reviewing the Fifine AM8 streaming recording microphone. Uh, it's this right here. It's uh, it's actually pretty dope. Dope. I'm really, really excited to uh, to get my hands on this and to try it out for y'all. Um, it you can use it for gaming, podcasting, video creation, or voiceovers. Um, before we get into the video, I want to let y'all know that this is not a sponsored video. It is just me giving y'all more options to choose from. Um, I paid for this with my own money and I am just trying to, uh, you know, just give information so that you guys aren't spending too much money on microphones that do the exact same thing as the higher end microphones. Okay. So you can find this mic on Amazon for 46 75. Uh, that's really, really cheap for uh, a microphone, especially from five fine. I've done a bunch of, uh, videos for five fine mics and they're always really really good mics if anybody asks me what kind of mic you should get i always say five fine like five fine never disappoints ever all right so let's talk about the mic a little bit the mic has two audio connections you can use USB C connector or an xlr connector uh which is pretty dope to have options if you have a go xlr or another type of um audio mixer you can hook it up to that and and have better quality sound uh it also comes with control controllable rgb lights tap to mute button headphone volume control a mic gain knob and a real monitoring jack so today we're going to be putting the five fine am8 mic against the mic that i am currently using that i've been using for the last year and a half which is the uh hyper hyper x quadcast s microphone right here i've been using this for quite some time and I really, really like the mic. I really like it a lot. Um, but like I've said before, like Five Fine has always been like the best mics in my opinion. I've had the uh the Yeti Nano and I've had the Blue Snowball and I've now have this quadcast mic along with other uh, five fine mics that I've actually given away and the five fine mics in my opinion sound the best. Um, I'm not being biased by any means. I'm just giving y'all the truth. Uh, but yeah, so the, this quadcast mic is $120. All right. I got it for $120. It is still $120 a year and a half later. And you know, so we're taking a $46 mic against a $120 mic. So you know, like we're going to find out and see like how, how well it, you know, stacks up to this mic that I'm currently using. And then you can see whether you should be spending uh, your money um, on higher end mics, or if you will be just fine with a uh, lower end uh, mic. Before we get into the uh, test and the comparison, uh, let's go ahead and open up this box and see what's inside, see what it comes with. So first off the, off the rip, you know what I'm saying? Like this mic is, uh, it's, it's a, it's a heavy mic, you know what I'm saying? So like, usually you can tell that a mic is, uh, well-made if it's a little bit heavier. Um, if it's really cheaply made, it'll be like plastic or, or just a really, like you can tell by the, by the feel of it, uh, whether it's a cheap mic or not. This does not feel like a cheap mic at all. Okay. So it comes with a AM8 user's guide. comes with a mic stand. I never use these just because I I have a, a arm mic or a, an arm uh arm stand. This is really really packaged well too as you can see in here. All right. So it comes with a USB C to USB A. Then 
let's go ahead and take this bad boy out man this is this feels oh my god I'm, I'm excited i'm excited to try this out so this is the way it looks right here this is where you'll see the rgbs right here you can change the rgbs and then here you got the the mic volume and then here you got the headphone volume so and then you could change the rgb by one touch right here so that's pretty dope um so you don't have to like go into the software and like change it by like that you can just tap the mic and it'll change the rgbs all right so now y'all we are ready for the test and y'all know my slogan is i can show you better than i could tell you i can show you better than i can tell you okay so i'm gonna show y'all we're gonna go into it we're gonna use the exact same settings for each microphone so that there's no you know like i'm not gonna doctor it up for one microphone than i am for the other one to make it sound better it's gonna be the same settings on both microphones so let's get into it y'all okay since we have the hyperx quadcast s mic already hooked up we're you're listening to it right now we are going to be doing this one first so what you're hearing right now is the hyperx quadcast s microphone microphone check one two one two i don't know why i said i always do that i don't know why i do that but that's just what i do okay microphone check one two one two and now let's go ahead and switch over to the five fine am8 mic and see how that stacks up against this one okay y'all this is the five fine am8 mic it has the exact same filters and settings as the HyperX Quadcast S mic had. Uh, I did not want to put it onto the arm stand, so I am holding it in front of my face, but it, it is the same distance away from my mouth as the HyperX was. So this is a microphone check 1212 mic test for the AM8 Fifine mic. Okay, y'all, I wanted to try one more thing uh, before we conclude the video. Uh, when some people are doing the podcast type, uh, recordings, they kind of hold the mic straight up and it holds it in front of their face like this. Uh, and it, they kind of speak into the top of the mic. So I wanted to test that for y'all and let y'all see what it sounds like. So this is the five fine and mate mic speaking down in the top of the mic. And this is a microphone check one, two, one, two mic test on the am8 five fine mic all right y'all so now you have heard the five fine am8 mic as well as the hyper x quadcast s mic uh so you have to let me know down in the comment section what you think about the five fine mic how it stacks up against the 120 dollars hyper x quadcast s mic like i said this mic is a 46 75 dollar mic um, you can find it on Amazon. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more budget friendly for your, you know, for your pockets, um, this might be the mic for you. So make sure you check it out. If you're looking for something to game with, to stream with, or for podcasting, this would be a great starting point mic for you. Uh, also I wanted to say that I do think that the hyper X sounds a little bit better, like just not, not too much better, but a little bit better. And there might be a reason for that. Okay, so I have, as you can see right here, this comes with a built-in uh, uh, pop filter. And then I put another pop filter on top of that. And then, so that makes it a little bit clearer uh, sound for y'all. And this is like a rubbery pop filter, uh, like on the mic. And then this is like a more mesh one, but I can't put this on this because it would crush the pop filter that's already on the five fine mic. So um, maybe I can find something that can uh, just like sit in front of it and not actually connect to it. Uh, or I can maybe just do some fine tuning in OBS and make it sound a little bit better. Also, I would love to get my hands on uh, an audio mixer, like a Go XLR. And also five fine has a uh, audio mixer as well. So maybe I can get my hands on that and then I can actually give y'all 
like an actual uh, test of how it sounds with the USB-C versus the uh, XLR connector. And because I guarantee when you hook up the XLR connector, it's going to be a lot clearer voice. So um, I'm going to have to get my hands on that. And when I do, I'll do another video and I'll do a test using the USB-C versus the XLR connector. And then I could do another test with this mic as well, the HyperX. And then it can, you know, I can, I can see if it is, if it really, really can, can stack up against it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're new, make sure you hit that sub button. I plan to do more of these videos for y'all. Like I used to do them a lot, a lot more, not like a lot, but I used to do them a lot more. So I plan to get my hands on more mics so that y'all can have uh, more budget mics to choose from without having to break the bank. So uh, thank you for tuning in, y'all. Like I said, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down in the comment section which mic you thought sounded better. And if you did think that the HyperX sounds a little bit better, uh, let me know how big of the gap you think it is between the two and hit that sub button, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you. I'm out. Peace.